was first narrated this story from the director Sudarshan. So the very first uh, expression was of shock and disbelief in certain ways because you know even I am a common man so I used to think that whatever is shown via the media or whatever is the general spectrum of things you tend to believe that when I got to know his story and uh, realized that you know uh, such is not the scenario the scenario is completely different uh, a common man's journey can be completely uh, it can be completely changed after after an incident as it happened with Wahid. So just after I realized it and uh, uh, then we met Wahid, we had several interviews of him and uh, realized that uh, this is in certain ways also a, a norm in a certain way. That this is not the first time anyone has been framed or this is not the first person but after researching and going through uh, his story, doing a lot of research, meeting his family, taking his multiple interviews, I realized that it's just a story of a common man. And if you think from that perspective, then it becomes also becomes very easy to relate to him because it's a common man's story, his suffering, his dreams which were sort of crushed and the life uh, he, uh, he has, uh, which the life has been impaired. So that way it was easy, but of course, uh, as an actor to be able to portray it on screen, you definitely have to have some amount of meat, some amount of material to that. So the research helped a lot. Uh, Abdul Wahid himself was very kind. Uh, I was just after him, uh, had multiple interviews, so he was very kind to offer uh, his help. He narrated all of his experience, uh, not only of the jail, his childhood memories, how he grew up, his college days, all that because all that you know frames you as a person which you are today. And uh, I got a gist of it and there is always a journey when you start preparing for a character. So it's your personality and the personality of the character. So there has to be a journey that uh, involves a lot of research. So uh, just to say I used to wear clothes which were supposed to wear uh, on the shoot. I used to travel via local train in that uh, hodgepodge uh, Mumbai local bheed which we say. Uh, my director locked me in a room for 10 hours uh, with uh, no fan, uh, no ventilation and uh, no food obviously. So I just got an idea of what that person must have gone through over those years. So all those things helped. Uh, I tried to uh, write, uh, uh, learn Urdu. Why left hand because why this lefty so all those things uh, help you in a certain way to get nearer to the soul of the character uh, and then if you have a team you know which uh, kind of helps you uh, before every scene and the whole uh, setup the whole uh, crew was so that uh, they were very helpful and everybody knew what to do what not to do so that way it kind of became easy also and uh, that's how it went. All the scenes uh, in which uh, I am being targeted, especially the police station scenes, because uh, more importantly, when you are shooting for a film, uh, it's very uh, easy to you know sound dramatic, and it looks very odd. Also, uh, you have to keep in mind that uh, you should not sound victim. You, you don't have to play victim. You know, otherwise, it uh, appears very cliche. So I tried to uh, you know touch the emotion of that character. Uh, specifically, if you are asking, there was one scene, the encounter scene, that police wala, he, he says that now uh, I am going to kill you and you know, throw uh, into this uh, uh, area and nobody will realize it. So that was little difficult because it was, uh, it's not supposed to be melodramatic and of course you also have to bring the intensity. But I ha just had uh, an episode of uh, dengue. I had dengue and I was hospitalized in a hospital in Mumbai and uh, I was quite critical for, a, for two to three days and uh, those were the memories I just uh, tried to bring in and you know because it was a near-death experience your whole life uh, flashes in a, a bit of a second so I kind of related with that and that helped um, it's amazing and um, um, 
when we were shooting for the film, when we were preparing for the stuff. Obviously, uh, I was trying to be truthful, but uh, I have never dreamt that, you know, people will love it so much so that, you know, they come out of the theatres and hug you and become speechless. And uh, it all uh, feels great, you know, when you get such reviews. The love, yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you.